Hey guys, this is Makomi and I'm bringing you a video of my Minecraft world. I've spent a lot of time on this world and I'm creating a pretty epic base here, as you can see. I started by building these four towers that go all the way up to the top of the sky. You can see the clouds here. The towers are 7x7 seven seven and they spiral upward and I have water flowing down them so they go all the way down to the ground. This one I added in a double helix so that water or lava is also flowing and it creates a really cool effect that I'll show you later and you can see it now too. Uh, I also attached the towers with a water ride here with a glass casing around it so you can take a boat to any of the four towers. And I am created a outer wall down there made out of cobblestone and it's uh, roughly a hundred by a hundred blocks big and I started my inner castle here I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet, if I'm just going to create like four circular turrets on the corners and have a balcony and a higher tier of the castle or not, so if you guys have any ideas please leave some suggestions in the comments. And I'm going to go down and show you my roller coaster. Take a little shortcut here. Now I have it on peaceful so I won't, or I'll regenerate health. Uh, what you see here is a booster, so as it goes parallel to the other one, it kind of boosts it along. There's other tutorials that show you how it works, but right now it's at max speed and it's just gaining energy, and it'll help me go along my track. And I attached the redstone circuit to it so I can open the track right here and bring the cart uh, over to me so I can get in it. Just a nice little shortcut. Here's my ride. It goes through my, all my uh, castle walls all the way around. Qu requires quite a bit of torches to keep it lit. And here's more boosters as you go along. And as you notice, there's still a lot of trees in here. I didn't really bother digging them out. <laughs> and there's the, the water again coming out of the tower. And another booster and coming up on the wall I was trying to on the next wall I was trying to create uh, redstone torches that would all light in unison on and off like blinking almost like a airport but uh, it seemed like it was much too hard to do and to get it in sync especially when you have to add in repeaters uh, between them so yeah here's the inside the actual castle is 64 by 64 squares, so I'll have to fill that up somehow later on. Here's a lot of chests that I store random, random stuff in. I'm going to show you the uh, inside of this tower with the lava and water that spiral. It looks really cool. As you can see, my sign there says to look up. So I'll let you take that in for a moment. It's pretty cool. It's took quite a lot of glass to build in time. When I was actually putting the lava in there, it, I only had a... I didn't completely wall it off and the lava ended up filling up all sections of the tower and it created cobblestone everywhere. So that wasted a lot, <laughs> a lot of time. But I got like 10 stacks of cobblestone from it. So I guess that's good. <laughs> Over here is my... my initial front gate and my garden. There's where I strip, strip mined all my sand to build my towers in the ocean. Not much in my original home, just a whole lot of furnaces and storage. I didn't really use this place that much. And up here is where part of my uh, redstone lights going on and off are. I kind of gave up. There's not enough room underneath here to really fit it in and it was going out of sync so I just end up giving up on it. Maybe I'll go back on it later. Now the sound here is kind of obnoxious but I kind of created a feedback loop and it just a random pattern of lights blinking on and off until torches burn out. So I left it. I thought it was kind of cool. Now I'm going to show you uh, 
coolest thing I think I've created, which was uh, a water waterfall elevator here. And you just push it. Oops. <laughs> well, that was a little too close. I didn't get a chance to go in it. Wow, it actually got... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> That's not how I'm going to be using it, but... At least the boat doesn't break. So just push it up here and take a ride up. Push forward and uh, I can actually land in my river, which I thought was really awesome. Yeah, I can just ride around here. Take a tour of my place. Oh, crap. <laughs> just put another one down. Stuck again. Yeah, filling up this water, I had to put a whole lot of buckets up here. So I had to create infinite sources by making a dirt dirt casing with a three by one brick opening and filling uh, the ends up with water. And you just keep uh, digging out the middle one or filling your bucket up with water from the middle, and it just keeps replacing it. But yeah, that's most of what I have here. I'm going to show you uh, one last thing as soon as I make it back to my ta double helix tower. As you can see, the currents here are kind of pushing me inward and making me go faster. So it makes it a little hard to control and not hit the glass, since, and if you hit the glass, your boat will pretty much immediately break, which is not very convenient. <laughs> Almost there. Whoa, shit. Crap. <laughs> At least I didn't break it. I'll just go down this uh, water elevator again. Hopefully I won't die. I have done that before. <laughs> there goes the boat. We Oh, shit. Ooh. Ow. Good, I have one more boat left in my inventory. Alright, this is my uh, final ride to show you guys. I created this a long time ago, actually. Oh, shit. That always makes me afraid <laughs> I'm going to hit the wall like I just did. But <laughs> it goes really deep. It took a while to dig this out. And that's the end. So if you liked anything, leave uh, comments in the... Or Leave comments in the comment section below, or any suggestions on what to build, or any uh, future things that you'd like to see. Especially uh, for what I should do with the castle. I'm not sure entirely what I want to do, and suggestions on that would be good. So thanks for watching, and hopefully you guys will subscribe and see future videos of my world. I've logged quite a bit of hours and plan on doing many more. I'm expanding this and making a pretty cool base. So yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.